Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Maker Pipe Monday. My name is Dave. Today, we're going to check out all kinds of bike accessories, bike storage, bike transportation. We've got a lot of different builds, all made out of three-quarter inch EMT conduit and Maker Pipe fittings. Let's get right into it. First one we have is a really cool build. This is a trombone rack for a bicycle. You can see that there. And this is, a, I think, a father-son duo that made this and they outfitted this bike so that he could get to school or wherever he needed to do get to with an inline trombone case uh, and this is a video too so let's check this out uh, there it is they modified uh, a, a normal bike rack and they put this conduit structure uh, on top that holds the trombone really cool i love seeing it some of the details they used a lot of t connectors this is threaded inserts into the ends of conduit and then an eye hook to have a mounting point, I assume. Some pipe straps as well. These are the uh, crossover connectors you got here. This is a new item we added. I like how they used it on that one. And yeah, a lot of cool techniques, all to be able to transport trombone on a bike. I love it. Really cool. Uh, shout out to Sean and his son for building that. Thanks so much, guys. Appreciate you posting that as well. Uh, here's one by that Jake posted uh, and Bob shared. This is a, a truck bed rack for bicycles. So you can obviously buy these, right? But they took a different route where they made it out of EMT conduit in our fittings. Really cool job here where they took, uh, they put a horizontal piece of three quarter inch EMT conduit uh, and then ran T connectors off of that and then used 45s and then some more 45s to create this kind of U shape right here. This is a good, good picture of it uh, for the front wheel and then some more T's to create that back there. Really great way in execution. Looks good uh, and not too expensive either. Okay, now I'm seeing a little bit more here. Let's check this out, how they attach it to the back of the truck bed. Um, almost looks like it's taped to the back of the truck bed. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, Velcro. Oh, that's slick. Okay, so you've got Velcro here and a Velcro piece on the back, and they attach this vertical pipe with a T-connector right there uh, so it's easy to remove. Neat. So cool. They got their bikes there, easily transported in the bed of the truck uh, in a nice, inexpensive way to do that. So, uh, Bob, thanks for sending that one in via email. Love seeing it. Here's one by Dan. And Dan made this wonderful rack for his garage. So this is a garage storage with a little bit of extra bicycle flair. But you can see that he's got a, uh, a bunch of bins there um, that he can move this whole system around. And then he's got bike rack up top. Uh, make good use of that. Um, neat structure where he did a lot of connections down below. Uh, you can see uh, a variety of tees. He's got this whole structure and then some shelves in there that he sits the bins right onto. And then here's the, the bike rack. Super simple. You've got just two pieces of pipe. Uh, EMT conduit connected with two T connectors. You can really do that in a variety of different ways. Uh, there it is all together. Really looks like some slick storage by Dan. Thanks so much, Dan, for posting that. Love seeing it. Here's another bike storage solution. Uh, if you need some place to put your bikes outside but want to protect them from the elements, that's a problem that Bill was solving. So take a look here. He had this small alleyway on the side of his apartment or home, and then he created a temporary structure to house the bikes in that. And I love this because it's definitely uh, solving the problem of uh, storage and bicycle storage if you need to keep them out of the elements. And what he did was just built off of the existing, existing side siding, excuse me, and then ran a horizontal pipe up here some T connectors going off that to create kind of a shed style roof and then some more T connectors to go down. And it looks like this whole section, yeah, is against the fence. 
Uh, so he was able to utilize that alleyway he had there to uh, create a nice little bike shed and storage. Love it. Thanks, Bill. Appreciate that. Here's one by Jesse. This is a uh, red wagon cargo bike, and it's an electric bike. And instead of uh, buying the caboose, as they call it, for uh, the kids, uh, created their own frame. So you can see the, the e-bike is the majority of this. And then what's made out of EMT conduit is this, these bends right here uh, that are attached to the frame, front and back, and then using T connectors going across, got a place for the kiddos to sit, uh, and definitely saved a bunch of money by doing that. This was posted by Jesse, and it said normally the caboose is $200, but I went the maker pipe route for $25, so saved a bunch of money. We love hearing that always. Thanks, Jesse. Here's another uh, rack uh, for e-bikes. This is converting a trailer hitch basket to accommodate two fat tire e-bikes. You can see them there. And uh, the conduit is just bolted to the, the basket. Uh, really simple there. And then the trick was being able to separate and have the two e-bikes stand upright. So here's a good picture of it. There's a yoke that they created that separates the e-bikes, keeps them upright and stationary. And then they just use fat pool noodles uh, to do that. Really simple problem or really simple solution to this problem. Love seeing it. There it is. And you can see that the T connectors, they're going to attach right to the top of these pieces of conduit and hold everything together, make it all sturdy. So really cool way to solve that problem and a cool build. Um, thanks, Michael, so much. Love seeing that. And here's a, a really neat build from Chris. Uh, Chris has an e-bike as well. And not only that, but he has a solar cargo trailer that he pulls behind that e-bike. Uh, so you can see the solar panel there. It is on a bike trailer. And it not only powers his accessories, his navigation, different things, but it also recharges the e-bike. And he's into taking long trips. And it, this was posted uh, a while ago uh, during the winter when he was working on this. Hopefully he's got a chance to take it out uh, and, uh, and use it. Uh, but here's, here's the conduit. He made part of the frame out of EMT conduit and our connectors. Uh, he also used, used some extruded aluminum and some 3D printed pieces because there's a lot of engineering that goes in here. Uh, because not only is it a uh, solar panel, but it adjusts to get the perfect angle on the sun. So you can see the actuator there, right here, and it is changing the angle uh, of the solar panel depending on what uh, which way he's, he's riding and where the sun's orientation is. What's really neat, and if you want more information, go to the website uh, and check out Chris's post because he has some videos. It's wild because he'll be cruising down the street one way and it, it, the panel will be angled this way. He'll turn around and the panel just knows to switch and capture the sun on the other end. Uh, and then, of course, Chris has a lot of resources uh, both on his channel, uh, which is Serendipity Sue on YouTube, and then he posts all his 3D printed designs there, and you can get see that in the community. But uh, Chris has been a great community member, and we appreciate him posting that project. Here's another one that was emailed to us. This is a simple bike rack for a laundry room. I like seeing this because it's such a simple solution. Uh, again, it's just uh, two pipes that in this case are mounted right to the wall, one with a flange right there, and the other has this adjustable kind of bracket. Now, this is Schedule 40 water pipe and then used RT connector to branch off of that and provide some adjustability for this bike. And then if you look at the other one, it's pretty much the same. Catch it underneath the seat post, and then you've got this adjustable bracket with one T connector. So really inexpensive DIY bike rack for the laundry room. Love checking that out. Here we've got another build. It's actually a recumbent bike. And I love this one because, again, this is another money saver. You might not have a, 
recumbent bike. But if you do, you can save a lot of money for a headrest. Farrell posted this and Terabike, oh no, I'm sorry, Terratrike wanted $190 for a headrest. That seems like a lot. And he made this headrest with Maker Pipe for less than 50. You can see it again uses some pipe insulation or foam. It's just one T connector there, right here, and then connects down to the recumbent bike's tricycle frame. Uh, great solution. Love when it saves you some money. Thanks for posting that. And then the last one we've got is a uh, oldie but goodie. This is from our Kickstarter over four years ago. This is a bike trailer uh, that we made to kind of showcase Maker Pipe in early on for the Kickstarter video. And it was a really fun project. I enjoyed doing this one. And there were a couple challenges to overcome. One was how you do how do you attach this frame to the bicycle that's going to pull it? Um, how do you mount wheels to it, right? And then how do you to build the whole thing? And this is done exclusively with tees, but just a little bit of the backstory, because I've gotten a lot of questions about how I've done this. And uh, since doing this and since more community interaction has happened, a lot of these hacks and solutions have presented themselves in the community. So I would do this completely different. Let me know if you ever want to see another bicycle cart as well, because uh, this was a lot of interest. But these were 3D printed brackets that bolted around three quarter inch EMT conduit. And then they had a flange that dropped down that supported the axle there. And these are just mountain bike wheels, a front and a rear wheel uh, that were used. And then I was pretty proud of this. This was three quarter inch EMT conduit, which the whole trailer is built out of. Uh, but then this piece is elastomer, uh, a rubber piece that I just shaped uh, that was bolted inside of the three-quarter inch EMT conduit. And then you were able to run a bolt through. Uh, this was a cotter pin style boat, bolt. And that attached to this 3D printed piece that attached to the bicycle axle. So a, a lot of figuring there, but it worked great because the uh, rubber was able to give and move. Uh, it really acted as a good pivot point. And I, I know there's some things on Amazon to to take a look at when it comes to bicycle trailers, but this worked great. And I would, I would do this again for sure. I really like that solution, uh, but I would probably do the axles a little bit different. Uh, we covered the whole thing with plywood and uh, yeah, it was a, there's a good close up of those, the axles and the drops there. You can see that the, these are 3D printed and I gave these files out. And if you'd like these files, just let me know. Um, they're not the strongest thing. I think it'd be better machined out of aluminum or something. Uh, but there's the axle tab and uh, four bolts that run through it like that. Uh, really fun build. I enjoyed doing it uh, and hope to build another bike cart soon. Uh, or maybe if you're into a bike cart or if you like these other builds, if you want to see more of these, please consider subscribing. We do this every week uh, and we'd love to have you. We'll see you soon.